Hello everyone and welcome back to another PriceCP Roblox Studio tutorial. This tutorial we're going to answer another viewer's question. In our prior tutorial, how to use position in Vector3, a viewer asked, how do I make the script check if the part has moved from the original position? This tutorial we're going to answer that question. Here we are inside studio. In my workspace, I have a part, it is a ball. Now let's go to our service script service. We're going to add a script to detect when the ball is moved. On the first line here, I'm declaring my part, which is the ball. On the second line, I'm saving the current position of my part, the current position of the ball, so that later I can compare the current position that, that was saved into this variable with the new position. And if the two are different, then I know that the ball has been moved. I also save the current brick color of the part. Here I have an infinite while loop. For each new iteration, it's going to wait for three seconds. Here I'm checking the part current position with the part position that was saved up here. If they are different, if they are not equal, then I know the part has been moved. If I know the part has been moved, I change the part's brick color so that we can tell it has been moved. So if the part brick color is currently red, I'm going to change it to blue. Otherwise, I'm going to change it to red. So the color is going to alternate between red and blue. After I have changed the color of the part, I'm changing my save position to the new position of the part. So I'm updating my save position to the current position of the part. So now my save position is the latest position of the part. So when the part is moved again, I can check the current new position with the save position. And if they are different, then I know that the part has been moved again. All right, and otherwise, if the part position and the safe position are the same, means that the part is stationary, is not moving. So in that case, I'm just changing the brick color back to the original color that I saved up here, which is this color right here. When the position is changing, you're gonna see either red or blue color alternating. And when the, the part is stationary, it stopped moving, then you're going to see the original color returning to the ball. Now let's play and take a look. Here we are, and you can see right away the ball is red, so the ball has moved a little as we entered the game. Maybe I drop onto the workspace to do the base plate. Too, too strong and it moves the ball. And now the ball is not moving, so it's back to the original color. Now I'm going to go and push the ball slightly to move it. There it goes, and it changes to red. It's still moving, so it changes to blue. And notice we, we have a wait of 3 seconds, so we only update the color every 3 seconds. So even though the ball is still moving all the time, we're only updating the color every three seconds. Now, if you would like to get a more accurate reading of when the color changes, instead of waiting for three seconds, you can just do a wait. And that would wait for approximately 0 0.03 of a second. Let's play again and take a look. So now you can see the ball is not moving because it probably moved, but then it changed back so quickly that we don't even notice it. And now I'm going to touch the ball to move it. And there you go. You see, you see it flashes really quick because we're checking the movement of the ball every 0 0.03 of a second. If it still flashes means it's still moving. Let me see if I can stop it. I cannot tell which direction. Oh, there it is. It stopped moving. Now it's moving again. Now it stopped. I'm going to push it again, and now it's moving again. Oh, it's going too fast. I'm not going to be able to stop it now. Oh, I got to let it go. And it's gone. Everyone, 
That's how you detect a moving part in Roblox. Join us back again in our next tutorial. I'm going to show you a different way, maybe a more sophisticated way of detecting when your part is moving. Thank you for watching. We'll see you again in the next tutorial.